news, children. Because of this unexpected blizzard, school has been canceled for the rest of the day. Does that mean we get to go out in the schoolyard and play? No. It means you all get to go home early. While I hit the slopes with my cousin Ginger. Now, let's get our things and get dressed. Mustn't keep your parents and cousin Ginger waiting. <laughs> It would snow like this every day. Then we'd never have to go to school. Mom, if I didn't have to go to school anymore, would I still have to take a bath? Yes. Rule of life number 42. If it weren't for mothers, little brothers would be very stinky. Francine, Julian, I spoke with your parents, and you're going to stay at our house until they're able to get home from work. It could take them a while with all this snow. I love blizzards. A whole day to play together. And I know the perfect game. Hmm. Welcome to the Hotel Olivia. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Wow! It's so big! Oh, this is nothing. You should see my other hotels. I wonder where Olivia is. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room in your hotel, please. Me too. I mean, a different room. Maybe one with the TV. I want a TV too. That shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> What's that sound? You mean... The wind? It sounds like a ghost. Oh no, there are no ghosts at the Hotel Olivia. Please follow me. We'll be taking the elevator. After you. Now, each of the rooms come with fluffy towels, little chocolates on the pillows, and room service. And they make your bed for you. I like the sound of that. We get to eat in our room? That's just one of those things that makes the Hotel Olivia the fanciest hotel in the world. This is our stop. <laughs> Kindly follow me. <laughs> This is your room, Francine. No offense, Olivia, but I'd like another room. This one smells like boy. But this is the room I picked out for you. I'll take it. I already smell like a boy anyway. Kindly follow me. And this is your room. I love it! Now here's the bed and the window. What's that for? Uh, that's in case you brought a pet monkey. Now over here are your little chocolates and towels. And if you want to be left alone, just hang this Don't Bother Me sign on your door. This is the best hotel ever! Excuse me, I think I have another guest. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room, please. I'm sorry, but the Hotel Olivia is full. All the rooms are taken. No fair. Mom, Olivia says all the rooms in her hotel are taken. Olivia, this is a very big hotel. I'm sure you can find a room for your brother. All right, follow me. It's pretty small. Oh, this isn't your room. This is. The bathtub? Go on, try it out. You'll love the privacy. And the soaps are free. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, one more thing. You have to leave your hotel room when other guests need to use the bathroom. Never mind. 
I don't want to stay at this hotel anymore anyway. Besides, I heard there were ghosts. Ghosts? He's making that up, Francine. There are no ghosts or pesky little brothers at my hotel. I promise. Are these grilled cheese sandwiches going to be enough for your guests? Hmm. Maybe we should give them a pickle, too. Good idea. And how about a big vanilla cupcake with pink frosting? I'm out of those at the moment. Please. I want the Hotel Olivia to be the best in the whole world. Hmm. I guess it's a good day to bake. Pink frosting, right? <laughs> sandwich you ordered. I didn't order a sandwich. I ordered a frozen yogurt pop. Oh, this must be for the guest in room 17. Be right back. Can I play? Not right now, Ian. I'm very busy. Here's your sandwich, Francine. Oh, good. I was getting really hungry. And could you make the bed now? I've messed it up. <sighs> Hey, Olivia, Perry left a gross chew toy in my room. Would you come and get rid of it? Uh, be right there. Oh, and room service? May I get a glass of milk? In just a minute. Uh, who turned off all the lights? The store must have knocked the power out. Or a ghost did. I told you, Francine, we don't have ghosts. <laughs> come on, Julian, I'll take care of that chew toy now. Want to come with us, Francine? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> Ooh. Are you sure it was a chew toy you stepped on? Positive. It had dog slobber on it and everything. Ghost! It was the ghost! I saw it! <gasps> <laughs> Saw it too. <gasps> Where? I don't see anything. I don't want to stay in this hotel anymore. Neither do I. Olivia, Mom told me to tell you she can't finish the cupcakes until the power comes back on. What's wrong with you guys? We saw a ghost. I told you there were ghosts. <laughs> If I do have a ghost in my hotel, then I'm just going to have to get rid of it. What does the ghost meter say? Nothing so far. The ghost is up there. Maybe I should wait downstairs. You know, in case the ghost tries to get away or something. Good idea. <laughs> to be a ghost and scaring all my hotel guests. Well, Olivia, maybe Ian just wanted to play too. Sorry. Sorry, Ian. I know. How would you like to be the room service waiter? Cool. Oh, good. The power's back on. Room service. Julian and Francine's parents got home okay, but they said it was okay for them to spend the night. Oh, good. Because I promised everyone that the Hotel Olivia has amazing pancakes for breakfast. I mean, if you don't mind helping me. Not at all. It sounds like the Hotel Olivia was a big success. It was, but it's not as much fun as Hotel Mom. That's very nice to know. Good night, Mom. <laughs> good night, Olivia. 